Trademark renewal is an annual exercise. Without workflow automation, the trademarks team must manually communicate with stakeholders in various regions, such as marketing, and the decision path to renew a trademark or not is needlessly complex. Let's have a look at the trademark renewal evaluation app that Team IP has built. We will be experiencing it from the perspective of a Deputy General Counsel for Europe. What's the main process behind our trademark renewal application? Now, as though we're talking trademarks, the same concept can actually apply to any type of IP. So what do you need to make an informed decision about, um, about the payment of a, of a renewal? You need your cost data. So we have a cost file. All your IP data, so the patents, the trademarks, the trade secrets, everything fed in. Then both of those files, the cost file goes in to be an integration file, as does that file with all the core IP information. That integration file then gets automatically imported into the ONIT application. As the Divisional General Counsel for Europe, I receive all trademark renewals for the upcoming year within my division. I've already received an email alerting me to the fact that it is time for me to evaluate my renewals. I will walk you through the time-saving process for evaluating these renewals using an elegant and simple solution provided by the excellent team at Team IP. As part of my preparation, I can see who the current marketing leads are set up within the system. I can also see who are the marketing leads assigned to my division. And if needed, I can update the marketing leads for the brands within my division in preparation for the upcoming review. I can also validate any country within my division that is required to provide evidence of use of trademark, as well as review the filing costs associated with each country. I am now ready to perform my evaluation. This view shows me the relevant information I need to perform my evaluation. Any trademarks identified as key marks will already be set to renew so I can focus on just those that need to be evaluated. For each trademark up for renewal, I see the name, ID, product class, category, brand, the country it is registered, along with current sales information, an image of the mark, the filing costs, and whether the mark requires evidence. I know that Jessica, who is the marketing lead for the home care brand, will be able to evaluate those products so I will reassign all home care trademarks to her for evaluation. These renewals will now be in Jessica's queue for her to review. I see that there are some trademarks that continue to provide strong sales, so I will renew any marks where the sales exceed $5 million. These will now be ready for renewal. On the contrary, I see that there are some trademarks where sales have dried up and have decided not to renew, so I will let these lapse. These will now be set to allowed to lapse. I'm now starting to see my list of trademarks for evaluation coming down. I need to take a closer look at the remaining trademarks. In this view, I can see much more detail regarding the trademark up for renewal including the last two years' sales for this mark, the filing costs, the trademark owner and applicant information, as well as who has been assigned as the marketing lead. As this trademark requires evidence, I need to involve Rebecca in this evaluation, so I will add her as an additional reviewer. Rebecca now has access to this trademark renewal, and we can collaborate before deciding whether to renew or lapse the trademark. I'll wait for Rebecca to come back to me on this one, so I'll move on to the next trademark. I know that this mark is doing well, so I will allow this to be renewed. I will enter some comments in the additional information section to support my decision to renew. I will need assistance with this, so I'll escalate to Eric, who is the marketing lead for this brand. This trademark requires additional evidence, such as a date of last use before I can renew. I do know that this is a current trademark, so I will provide evidence so it can be renewed. Now I've provided that evidence, I can renew this trademark. I can see that I have reduced the number of renewals requiring my evaluation. I can also see the running totals of all renewals under review, escalated, lapsed and renewed. I can also see the filing costs for each of these, including the cumulative savings from allowing the trademarks to lapse. So what's the second app we built? And that was about trade secrets. 
Yes, a company's trade secrets are sometimes the most valuable IP asset they will own. But very few companies correctly protect and have that overview of a trade secret. Now, in COVID times as well, this has really been exacerbated. People are working remotely. Everybody's disconnected. So, the ability to actually track the secrets and have some overview, who has access to what, where's what, how many components of a trade secret we ha- do we have, is really vital. In addition to the trademark renewals application, Team IP also developed an application to manage information related to our trade secrets. The Trade Secrets Dashboard shows the number of trade secrets currently kept by our organization, by classification level, group, category, owner, and region. It also shows the status of any open infringements on these trade secrets, as well as the probability of future infringements. It also shows the percentage of internal and external parties who have NDAs in place with regard to the trade secrets. This helps us manage who has access to this vital information if someone leaves the organization or if there is a suspected infringement. Access groups are maintained that identify groups of individuals who have access to the trade secrets. These can cover both internal employees and external parties. The classification levels are maintained as well as the classification types. An integration has been developed to receive a feed of all employees and a contact list of external parties is also maintained. Product information is also maintained from a feed from our master data system, including a link to the product and an image of the product. This view shows the current trade secrets within our organization. Information about the trade secret is stored in a secure record that shows the classification level, group and category of the trade secret, and what entity is the holder for the trade secret. A further level of security will allow additional classified information to become available for the trade secret. The access list provides a list of individuals or groups who have access to the secret. For each individual or group, it shows the access level, additional details, whether an NDA is in place, and details of any training completed or to be completed. The trade secret also contains the impacted products or product families. Infringements or potential infringements against the trade secret are also maintained, including details of the infringement. This concludes the short demonstration. In conclusion, Team IP deserves to be the hackathon champion because our app is applicable to a wide range of companies, it solves a complex, relevant problem with a simple solution, it can save companies significant money, it makes users' lives easier, And we built an overachieving bonus app.